<laughs> oh, hello. Hi there. We didn't see hello. you. Hello. We didn't see y'all though. Well, welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back to House of Cremel. House of Chuck. Okay. <laughs> and even though right now, I mean, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I'm filming this in, well, I know I'm filming this in 2021, but by the time you see this, it'll be 2022. So, Happy New Year. You know, confetti everywhere, everything. Oh, there. <laughs> yeah. So, welcome back, you guys. I thought, why not kick off a vlog? We have a couple of things in store, and we have some news. Whew. Stay tuned. Intro, yeah. please. <laughs> All right, so it said we have some news, right? It's been interesting in the Ford household. Let me just start by saying Christmas was absolutely wonderful for mm -hmm. us. We had a beautiful Christmas holiday. Mm -hmm. um, Buki loved his presents, he's playing with them. Uh, we got to spend time with Chuck's parents. We got to spend time with my side of the family for a little while mm -hmm. and um, insert outdoor footage at my cousin's uh, Christmas bonfire basically <laughs> it was bonfire. nice though it was nice to fun. yeah we had a really good time so but guess what all hell tried to break loose over here but hell don't know the forest do they mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nah. nah not at all so the first thing <laughs> they tried to get us who loses hot water on Christmas day <laughs> No, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, yeah, yeah. You, Christmas we started Eve. seeing something. The, the water just started like not, mm, not being hot real water. hot, <laughs> and then I don't, it was cold, you know. <laughs> yeah. So and that happened about Christmas Eve, Eve, like that evening. We really noticed, like, oh no, mm -hmm. the water is not hot at all. Yeah. So we were fortunate to be able to get a plumber in. Um, same day so i know i guess it was the night before christmas eve that we noticed it yeah and then we had and then we had the plumber in. come in so we had a plumber come in from atlanta plumber solutions is that there atlanta plumbing and drain atlanta plumbing and drain we'll put their proper company name yeah. down here we've yes. been they've been working with us and with plumbing matters for a while since mm -hmm. uh we were in our old home. home um and we really love them we love their level of service yeah. and they are i believe they are black owned yeah so thank you, cause yeah, trying hold on. We might need to sit down. Let's sit down for a second. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, much better. Okay, yeah. where do we leave off? Yeah, I, well, I'll tell y'all while I got this hat on too. <laughs> <laughs> tell you about the water here. Oh yeah, so the plumber came out. They tried to fix it first. The um technician over the phone walked Charles through reigniting a pilot light on the water heater mm -hmm. um, and it didn't work mm -hmm. so he did manage to find a technician that would come out here on Christmas Eve and um, he was able to evaluate the situation and determine that we in fact did need a new water heater uh, one thing there though is the type of water we heater we have has been having issues and it has been recalled yeah that's so yeah. we will get uh i don't know if it's i don't want to say free but i guess it isn't free we'll I mean, be getting it, a replacement, a replacement water heater. well not that water heater it's a module in the water heater it's oh. like the component that makes the the um the uh pilot light stay lit Okay. That's the reason why the, the water heater isn't out. Everything around it is fine. Uh -huh. It's just that. It looked damn near brand new when you it go down there new. and look. It's I like, was like, this look brand new. This is not. Like this did not come like this is new. It's it's, it's very apparent that it's new when you yeah. go down there and look at it. Yeah. But like Chuck said, there's a part in it that's not allowing the light to stay lit. It's been mm -hmm. recalled, and they are sending out replacement pieces. So as soon as that piece comes in. Which we're hoping that it is here today. by today or at the latest tomorrow. Because they said it's two to four days. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, we'll get it fixed, but we've been making do, yeah, uh, boiling lots of water for yeah, baths man. and things of that nature. It's nostalgic, and uh, yeah, <laughs> but we haven't let that get us down. We just been, you know, doing what we gotta do. So that's the one thing. I guess the other thing. This happened before Christmas, though. Bookie's daycare shut completely down because he got, uh, and I probably said this in the vlog, vlog, um, 
I can't remember if I did, but his daycare shut completely down because they had a child that had a positive um, COVID case. Mm -hmm. So Buki had to stay home. We had plans for him to go to school and he was going to be home, you know, during the, you know, holidays like Christmas Eve and Christmas, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day just because we had the luxury and we pay for daycare. So yeah. he was going to go, but <laughs> They had other plans. Mm. So Boogie had been here with us, which wasn't too bad because we uh, had took some time off of work anyway. I'm still on PTO. Chuck is um, office. His office is just so quiet right now. So There's nothing going on. He has a lot of free time, but he is like, I could call it like on call. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> the other thing is, so fast forward, you know. What? No, I was looking over there. Yeah. I'm kind of waiting on Santa Claus to Amazon, rather. Uh, I have a lot of packages coming in, and then, like, today and tomorrow for a project that you guys will see. So, I thought Chuck might have heard it. But, um, yeah, so, after Christmas, we had a great day. Day after Christmas, if you go to my Instagram, follow me at House of Cremel. If you don't already follow me at House of Cremel, I posted a reel. We got to experience the Falcons game from uh, my company's suite mm -hmm. so that was really cool that was fun. we that enjoyed was fun. that mm -hmm. and along the way what my best friend um came mm -hmm. and her her husband attended the game too mm -hmm. so we said hello to them we didn't sit next to them at the game because they were in their own suite mm -hmm. and uh you know we after the game we decided we would get back together we were going to go out to eat but because of the environment we were just like you know what we just gonna go home. We mm -hmm. talked and everything. We already ate and drank at the game. We so we offered them a ride home because they had gotten dropped off there and we drove and parked at the stadium. So it was a great day and uh, you know, it was over. The next day, my poor friend called me and let me know that her husband had tested positive. And I was like, Oh no and he was quite sick from what she was explaining to me. But uh, she was calling to let us know because we were all in the car together um, when we mm -hmm. took them home. So I was like, okay, no, no biggie. And I just continued to ask if they were okay and, you know, is what it is at this point. What can you do? So, but we weren't. Yeah, it was fine. So after that, we decided to wait a couple days to actually test ourselves just because we wanted, we have home tests. And you know right now it's difficult to get mm -hmm. A PCR test or even a rapid test out in public so fortunately I had some home tests from when we were testing Buki um, on Christmas we had tested Buki up to Christmas Day mm -hmm. just to make sure he was okay like we tested him twice a couple days before and a couple days act after to make sure he was negative and basically if Buki was negative then we presumed ourselves negative too because we are all around each other all day and that's yeah. how it was He's in our face right <laughs> so we long story short mm. i had some tests on hand already that i was able to get before you know test gate started <laughs> so um we weren't really we weren't feeling bad we weren't feeling sick um gate. yeah <laughs> test gate. okay but we weren't feeling bad or anything we weren't weren't really dealing with anything much different than what we had already been you know y'all know if you've been watching my videos, my sinuses and my congestion has just been up and down, up and down, up and down since November. And um, it had come and gone and came again, you know, right after Christmas. So, but that's all I really have. And I mean, Chuck had like very, very mild congestion here and there, but yeah. he would take like some Sudafed and then he would be fine. And Buki was actually looking much, much better. <laughs> He had Probably been, been battling the cold <laughs> since before Christmas. And, uh, like, his cold went away. His cough went away. Like, he was doing great. So, a couple days later, we tested with our home test at home. And they came back positive. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> they came back positive. Mm -hmm. And I can't say, I wasn't necessarily shocked. But I was a little bit surprised just because we haven't had... We haven't felt differently. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We just, the, what was different is that we knew we were carrying the COVID-19 virus. Mm -hmm. And so, 
I tested and then Chuck tested too and both of us were positive. We didn't even bother with testing Bookie because Bookie been around us and, and like like I said, we live in the same house. Bookie been all in both of our faces. I can only present he's a uh, positive by association at this point. Yep. So, um we had been laying low prior to that. Um and we have continued to lay low and do that in the midst of all of this the quarantine days got cut still kind of unsure on what that even means but yeah. we're going to do what we feel is best for us and our families and the people around us fortunately both Chuck and I well fortunately we feel anyway for us we're both vaccinated um, I got the booster. Chuck, it wasn't time for him to get boosted yet, but he will get it eventually. Mm -hmm. And, um, I had just started taking, like, my, retaking my vitamins. And, you know, you start, you want to take the, start the new year off, right? We had just started to implement some habits that we wanted to make sure we kept going into the new year mm -hmm. with. So, both of us had been taking our vitamins pretty well for at least I want to say two weeks yeah because I have been pretty inconsistent I've been taking them but I've been very inconsistent with it and I had uh, introduced myself to a, another B complex vitamin and fish oil and you know just doing some things just to you know boost up my immunity mm -hmm. and Chuck had been doing the same and we have also started drinking uh, those little tablets in your water mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. and airborne yeah airborne and uh, the other I forgot what the other one's mm -hmm. called new mm -hmm. so we had started doing that and i don't know we've actually felt pretty good that has not been the case for many of the people that we know that have contracted the virus and right now if you know anyone you know somebody that has it like a lot of people a lot more people than people. before it's just every day it's like well, this is positive i can't make positive but there are a lot of people that are really like they down not necessarily in the hospital but they're really sick and we have been fortunate not to have that experience we are very much for this we feel our shots took us out worse than this yeah, is right the shot now we down. like the shots took both of us yeah it was even my booster, I was so sore. Like my, I had so many body aches. That was my main thing with the booster shot. Mm. I just had these crazy body aches, and then I did mm. burst of fever that I didn't know I had. But um, and uh, don't get me wrong on those two. Like, don't get me started. I mean, on those two, that really, that yeah, we were pretty down. And this feels nothing like that. So if this is what the shots are supposed to do. Or at least for in some, because I know that there are also people, of course, that have been vaccinated and have contracted the virus, but still feel sick. They're, they're you know, they're getting over it, but they still feel pretty sick. But it just hasn't been our experience. So we're grateful for that, like I said. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're just here. <laughs> yep. We are. By the grace of God, we here. Oh, we yeah. Here. We made it. We did. We're making it. Made it. Made it. Make, yeah. It's done. Yep. Yeah, so but, uh, like yeah. I said, yeah, take it, take your body. Like, yes, do it. do what you need. I think yeah, I even yeah. mentioned this before in one of the last vlogmas vlogs. Do what you need to do to boost your immunity system, even if you right. have the virus. It's even more important to remain hydrated. Take your vitamins. Do what you need to do to make sure your immune system is able to do what it needs to do. Yep. But yeah, it got so bad. I had a hair appointment. My beautician, she had to, she had well, we ended up just counseling because she got sick. She went to go take a test. I had booked us another uh, this was before I knew I was positive, but I booked another um appointment and she texted me the same day, like early that morning that she wasn't feeling well and she wanted to cancel. And then right after that, like that later on that day when I took the test in the morning, just because I was like, or right, I feel like it's been enough days, the home test should be able to detect if we have it or not. I tested positive. So I'm so glad that I didn't walk up into their shops and, you know, put them at any further risk than they already were. I always wear masks when I go there, but still, you know, it's reduction, not complete prevention. Right. So, yeah, here I am with the stuffy nose again. <laughs> and here's Chuck. 
And uh, no matter what, I mean, you don't have stuffy dose. <laughs> I had a little something this morning. A little bit, you know. But we're grateful we're here, and um, that's our spiel. That's it. So, very, very long start to the vlog. But uh, I think me and Chuck are about to eat a little bit of lunch. It's a little bit late for lunch. It's, it's after two. I made some beef stew. Oh, it's so good. You guys make sure y'all go to Chuck's Instagram because he's going to post it. Today. It'll be posted by the time you guys see this video. You'll see it. But check out He Got Taste. Oh, that. oh Instagram. Yeah. And check out the beef stew recipe. It's amazing, y'all. Mm, it's really good. So we're about to eat some. And I think that we are going to start um, undecorating Christmas. I'm really ready to take down the decorations. <laughs> Yeah, my baby loves the Christmas trees. I don't know if he, I mean, he he gonna be sad. But he has really enjoyed the Christmas tree and the Christmas decorations. And it made everything even more worth it just to see mm -hmm. him enjoy it so much. So. He loves the Christmas lights. Yeah, he does. All of it. And if he needs to see it, we'll just show him an old vlog. <laughs> yep, we got lots of footage. All right, you guys. Make, check out the vlogmas while you're there. That's right. right. Just, I have just, a full playlist. Keep it rolling. You know what I'm saying? Right. I have a full playlist. I'll also link it here in the cards. But I have a full vlogmas playlist. If you missed any video from vlogmas, mm -hmm. uh, it was so vlog. Oh, gosh. Let me just tell y'all why I have you. My thoughts on vlogmas. I re Okay. I loved it because... I really got to push myself content wise and see that I actually can produce more than I thought even under the circumstances of being a full-time like working mom and wife like that's a job in itself that's like three jobs in itself so to know that I can still sorry it's time for me to change my context push myself to be able to create content like that was you know good to know that means that i know that i can push towards my regular um content posting goals uh outside of vlogmas uh but yeah it is a beast every single day posting a youtube video you have to understand youtube videos are long format content so it's you know a lot more footage <laughs> But there's also, once the footage is recorded, it's not necessarily like when you take a picture on your phone or do any of the shorter forms of uh, content. You have to review it, edit it, chop it down, create a thumbnail, get it posted. Like, all of these are processes after you've actually recorded the video. And they take time. So, I was going to bed at like... One, two o'clock. Yeah. Well, definitely no later than midnight on a lot of nights. And I don't necessarily want that for my life. I am not sure if I would do Vlogmas again in this same way. I definitely want to do something similar next year. But I also felt like the quality... I, I pushed to put out... Well, at the quality level I am now, that level of quality and better if I could. But some days it suffered. Some days I missed things when I was editing. Some days I left out some words. If you go back and look at the very last Vlogmas video, I couldn't do anything but laugh because I forgot to like wrap up the last part of the captions at the very end of the video. But I mean, I don't. You don't want to sacrifice quality all the time just to right. be able to spit something out every day now if this was my full-time job that would be something a bit different if i had help like someone that edited my videos or anything like that that would also be very different but it's not it's just us and on the editor front it's just me like that's it i'm the person so those are my thoughts on vlogmas make sure you go view my blood sweat and tears here <laughs> Y'all check it out, man. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, like I said, me and Chuck about to eat. And then we'll be back. More than likely, we're going to be redec uh, undecorating Christmas. Some of it, anyway. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Look here. You remember that part we was just talking about? And then that noise me and Chuck heard when we looked to the left or the right? That's if I kept that footage in here. Mm -hmm. The package came. Look at that. 
God is good all the time. Hot water on the way. Even with cold water, God is good, you know? Amen. But, um, it's been cold too. <laughs> it's, and it's been cold. Oh, heaven. But God is still good. Amen. But he is uh, getting us on the path to hot water real soon. Amen. <laughs> so if hopefully they'll be able to get a technician out to install it today. But if not, it'll be tomorrow. And, uh, you know, grateful. we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. We are grateful. We are grateful. Amen. All right, I'll be back. Because I think Buka just woke up. I'm going to give him a minute to gather himself. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back. All right, gang, look who's up. Say hi. The hell are you, hey guys? <laughs> He's got a snack in his mouth. He's playing with his little garden kitchen set. And yeah, he likes the light. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is one of his Christmas gifts. It's a bar pit themed after the Coco Melon song where they take a bath. Uh, it's cute. He loves it. It's um, one of his happy places. Yeah. yeah, a lot of times he'll just sit in there and yeah, be there. It even came with a little module that sings the song, but I think the battery died. <laughs> Already. Down first day, first week. So yep, I am. I am currently making what's left of these Christmas cookies that never got baked bef uh, before Christmas. So best way to get them on out the door is to go ahead and cook them, eat of them what we're going to eat, and then throw them away. So that's what we're gonna do it, and we got more packages so i'm about to open these and let me show y'all this i feel like i cleaned up my house just to get it back messy for another project but i got some shipments in i think i'm going to get the last of everything tomorrow but i'm preparing oh and i got these two these are to some additional christmas storage bins but i hope the last of it is coming tomorrow but i am starting my pantry organization video soon it will be a separate video um because i'm kind of waiting on all the stuff but I'm, i am going to go ahead and start because there's a cleaning aspect that has to happen because it's a mess in there so i don't know i might start recording that tonight who knows we'll see what happens i'm pretty i feel like i am though just so i have a good a good uh idea of what i'm up against because i kind of know but you know how to you don't really know so I don't know, but those are little Amazon shipments. And this child's little car, he's been playing in it. You can see we brought the storage bins back up because like I told you, we're getting ready to um, take down the Christmas decorations starting today, possibly in a few minutes. But Charles loves his car. He's yet to ride it correctly because he's so, like, I don't know, he gets nervous about things that move and him not having control or whatever but he does get in it he turns it on he pushes it around he says beep beep he loves the way it looks so i mean can't be too mad at that all right so we'll be back when i start to actually take down the christmas decorations like i told you before All right, it's time. Bookie's pushing. You good? Bookie pushing his little truck, and we're about to start um, undecorating for Christmas by taking down this first tree and using these containers to hold the ornaments. I got these at Target. I like these because I don't really have a container that does this, and the one that we do have. It's kind of breaking apart, but it comes with these little ornament organizer divider things to go inside of here. So let me put this together, then we can get started.
Hello guys, it is the next day and why am I zoomed in so close? All right, that's better. It's the next day, it's New Year's Eve and close this door because the child is napping and we are still at home. Um, our technical quarantine period is up we still don't plan on going too many places at all just because, I mean, we really don't have nowhere to be that bad. And, um, so yeah, we'll be staying in and Buki will likely stay home, um, for a full 10 day period just because, um, so the updated protocols say that after five days, it's... <coughs> <coughs> The new protocols say after five days, <clears throat> you no longer have to be in isolation, um, but you should mask for the next five days. We mask anyway in public, but my son is two and masking is still very new to him. Excuse me. And he has not quite accepted that yet. Um, he's still learning. So I don't want to send him to daycare um and put anyone else at risk so we're likely going to keep him home it's gonna be challenging but yeah we're likely going to keep him home for until uh wednesday next week and then he'll start back daycare on thursday i'm sure we won't be the only ones in this situation but i mean it's what we have to do and i feel like that's the right thing to do so let me just show you we did get all of Christmas, well most of Christmas, I still have my cards up there just because I want to look at them a little longer. But that's a donation pile going to the Goodwill. But we have taken down Christmas trees. No more Christmas tree over there, just the curtain. And Christmas is all packed up. The only thing, the only thing that's left is the stuff outside, outside the door. And I'm, we'll get that taken down today at some point and pack it up so all of these containers can go back downstairs so i think this is the first time i've ever taken down decorations and like a, my tree before the new year started like th this is not like me y'all but like i said we really did christmas and we did it for a while and so i was just kind of ready to see something fresh and new in my home and you know start another project or start another adventure and that's what i'm doing so you guys make sure you look out for the next video um i'm not really sure how short or long this vlog is because i'm recording it right now but i am also in the process of getting ready to record another video so i'm going to go ahead and end the vlog right here um you guys have a happy 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 new year um we love you we look forward to every to you know just spending a year with you guys again and celebrating all things oh uh, update our hot water has been fixed the plumber um just left not too long ago our hot water heater is in the basement so we were in contact with him so he worked down there while we were up here 
and uh, we're all fixed. So we are going into the new year with hot water. Yay! <laughs> so you guys, thank you. It's Charles out here. Thanks for tuning in. Baby, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.